what we know about the mutant strains is that you need two doses of either vaccine and that's effective at reducing severe illness. So time is of essence here. It, it appears the virus is establishing itself in Australia um, as, as we're looking at as things are unfolding in New South Wales. We may be able to control the spread of the virus in, in New South Wales, which of course then means it'll spread over the whole of Australia if they don't. Now, time's of essence. There's an urgency here. We need to be immunised as many as people as possible, as soon as possible. Now, there's uh, an ambient uh, supply of, uh, uh, an ample supply of AstraZeneca. And so, if that's available and you feel comfortable and competent in actually receiving it, I would suggest that you actually consider it. Um, because the certainly experience down to the age of 30 in the UK has been extremely good and they've given tens of millions of doses of it. So I think in one sense, it's the most used vaccine globally. On the other side of it is there is that 12 week wait for the booster, but we've also seen in times of urgency, they've shortened that to eight weeks. So there is that issue of the second dose. Pfizer on the other hand, is only a three week delay between the two doses. So you can be fully immunized um, within a, a three week period. The problem we've got with Pfizer is we have no guarantee of supplies up until around about October. And that's probably too long for many people to actually bear. Uh, I guess I often throw in some of the personal things. My whole family's all received AstraZeneca. Um, uh, and in fact, my youngest daughter at 22, she's had it. Um, so is my other daughter at 25. Um, you know, and why? Because, well, my middle daughter's a frontline worker and the idea is you need to have immunity and that's what was available for her at that time. My younger daughter, of course, is saying, well, I'm, I'm not sitting around waiting for this, I'm going to have it. And which is what we're seeing a lot of other young people doing um, currently at the moment. Is that dangerous? No. These are very safe, very effective vaccines.